Hi all, hope you all are doing well. Today we are going to see oral glucose tolerance test in pregnancy. Before going into detail, please subscribe my YouTube channel that is Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from it. Now OGTT which is done for the diagnosis and screening of gestational diabetes mellitus. It is quite different from the OGTT which is done for the diagnosis of diabetes mellitus in general due to some other causes. You can also watch my video on indications, contraindication, preparation of patient and interpretation of OGTT. So before going in the detail of OGTT in pregnancy, we all should know what is glucose tolerance. So glucose tolerance, it is basically defined as a ability of a person to metabolize given load of glucose is known as a glucose tolerance. That is definition of glucose tolerance. Now what is gestational diabetes mellitus? So gestational diabetes mellitus, it is defined as a, any degree of glucose intolerance with onset or first recognition during pregnancy. So that is the definition of gestational diabetes mellitus. Now what are the risk factors for the gestational diabetes mellitus? So the first risk factor for the gestational diabetes mellitus is previous history of Gestational diabetes mellitus, body mass index more than 27 kg per meter square, first degree relative with diabetes mellitus, then history of macrosemia or big baby with birth weight more than 4 kg, any previous bad obstetric history, then glycosuria that is appearance of glucose with more than or equal to 2 plus on at least 2 occasions, and current obstetric problems like pregnancy induced hypertension, polyhydromnios that is more, uh, more amount of amniotic fluid in the amniotic sac and current use of corticosteroids. So these are the various risk factors for the gestational diabetes mellitus. Now screening and diagnosis of gestational diabetes mellitus. So the screening and diagnosis of gestational diabetes mellitus is done with the help, uh, done with the help of oral glucose tolerance test and there are the two guidelines suggested by two different groups. So there are the two strategy. First one is the one step strategy which is suggested by International Association of Di uh, Diabetes and Pregnancy Study Group and second strategy that is a two step strategy which is suggested by American College of Obstetrician and Gynecologist. So first we will see the one step strategy. So one step strategy, it is done in one step strat strategy, oral glucose tolerance test is done in the morning after an overnight fast of at least 8 hours during the 24th to 28th week of pregnancy with no previous history of diabetes. The fasting blood sample after an overnight fast of at least 8 hours is collected which is also called as a 0 hour sample. Then 75 gram of glucose is given to the patient and ask the patient to drink it very slowly otherwise it will trigger the vomiting and you can also use the flavored drink if it is available. Then after the glucose load is given then collect the blood, blood sample for the glucose measurement at 1 hour and 2 hour. So this is the procedure for the one step strategy. Now how to do the interpretation of the results obtained after one step strategy. So the diagnosis of gestational diabetes mellitus is made when any of the following plasma glucose values are made or exceeded. If the fasting blood glucose value if it is more than or equal to 92 mg per deciliter, 1 hour blood glucose value if it is more than or equal to 180 mg per deciliter, and 2 hour glucose value if it is more than or equal to 153 mg per deciliter then diagnosis of gestational diabetes mellitus is made. Now let's see the two step strategy. So as the name suggests there are the two steps. So the first step is it is done during the 24th to 28th weeks of pregnancy with no previous history of diabetes mellitus. I'll give the patient 50 gram of glucose load and it doesn't require fasting. 
and collect the blood glucose collect the blood sample for the glucose measurement at 1 hour so this is the procedure this is the first step of two step strategy now if the plasma glucose level measured one after measured one hour after the load is greater than or greater than or equal to 130 135 or 140 mg per deciliter then proceed for the second step that is oral glucose tolerance test done with the help of 100 g of glucose so let's see the step 2 two step strategy step 2 is again at 20 during 24 to 28 weeks of pregnancy with no any previous history of diabetes mellitus over here fasting is required so collect the fasting sample in the morning after at least 8 hour of fasting then give 100 g of glucose to the patient and collect the blood sample at 1 hour 2 hour and 3 hour for the glucose measurement so in the two second step of the two step strategy there are total four samples are collected including the fasting sample now interpretation of results so diagnosis of gdm is made when at least two of the following four plasma glucose levels are met or exceeded so the If the fasting value, if it is more than or equal to 95 mg per deciliter, one hour value, if it is more than or equal to 180 mg per deciliter, two hour value, if it is more than or equal to 155 mg per deciliter, and three hour value, if it is more than or equal to 140 mg per deciliter, then diagnosis of GDM is made. Now, in comparison to one-step strategy and two-step strategy, one-step strategy is accepted worldwide because it is more cost-effective and it also supports improved pregnancy outcome. These are the my references. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit, and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from it.